So I just wanted to leave a little disclosure that I know that I went overboard. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Kate, and today I'm going to be doing part two of what I got my daughter for Christmas. In the last video, I did show a few of these things, but most of the things I have here today I haven't yet shown because my last video was what I got 11 kids for Christmas, and it was more focused on the families that were sponsoring for Christmas this year. And then I just fit a few of my daughter's presents in at the end. I decided to pick up some of the presents that my mom got for her, and a few more presents came in that I had got for her. So I decided to make this part two, because there's a lot of stuff that I haven't shown, and I figured it would be a fun video to make. Also, I am including what I got my two nieces for Christmas. It's just a few things. But I figured I would include their presents as well, because one is two and a half, and one is eight months. So they're right around the age of my daughter, who is 14 months. Her name is Bryn, and you probably see her in a lot of my videos if you follow our family. And also, I wanted to mention that if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you subscribe and that you give this video a thumbs up, because I do have some other fun videos coming out, including a stocking stuffing video, where I'm going to show you all my daughter's stocking stuffers, and I'm going to stuff her stocking, wrap all the presents, and stuff it. And then also I will be doing one with my husband's stocking, wrapping all of his presents and showing you what I got him. And I have a men's gift guide coming out where I will be showing you everything that I got for my husband. I have some pretty cool ideas. And then also I will be showing you things that I got for my brother, my brother-in-law, and my dad too. So make sure you stay tuned for those videos. So maybe I will just show briefly, I'll go really quickly through the ones that I already showed in my last video, just so that if you watched my last video, you're not bored of this. So I showed this little book. I got the Five Little Ducks book because she loves this song. She loves books that have songs in them. So I got her this book. I thought it was really cute. And I got her this bus, which I already showed in the last video. It's a little... Little People's Fisher Price Bus, and it was only $10 on Amazon. They had the airplane for $10 as well on Amazon, and I thought it was really cute, so I got this. And I will be linking all of these items in the description box below if I can find links to them. Some things I did get from TJ Maxx, and I won't be able to link those, but if I find something similar on Amazon, I will try to link that. I also got this baby doll, and I know I showed this in the last video because... I had this for a while, and I'm so surprised that I haven't broke down and gave this to her already because she loves babies, so you will see a few babies when I'm showing you this haul, but she loves babies, so I'm a sucker for getting her baby dolls. So I got her this. Also, something that I did not show in the last video because this is a new idea that my mom had today, but she does have this little microwavable bunny, and I forgot that she had this. I got this a long time ago. We were doing foster care and we had a little foster daughter and my mom got this for me to use for our little foster babies or if we had future babies because she thought it was cute for the winter, you could put it in their car seat with them. So this was packed away. I totally forgot about it when we moved. But she, my mom is getting her an elephant one for Christmas, a bigger one. But it's really cute and it's a really cute idea. They're called warmies and you put them in the microwave and they have um, rice in them, I think. Some of them have scents. This one might smell a little bit like lavender. I can't remember when it's microwaved. You only do it for 30, 20 to 30 seconds and it just warms it up a little bit. They can go to sleep with it or you can give it to them in the car when it's cold out. It's just a really cute little comfort animal. Next, I know I showed these two things already and then I think these are the last things that I will be showing twice just in case you didn't see my other video. If you didn't see my other video, What I Got 11 Kids for Christmas, I will be linking that in the description box below, and I'll put it up in the cards here in case you want to check that out. Most of those ideas are for older kids. About 6th grade through 12th grade was the range of ideas I had in that video. But moving on to these two items that I showed in the last video, I got this little pull-along duck. It's Tommy Toomey's is the brand. I've never heard of it. It makes a little noise when you pull the string. And that's all. So it's pretty cute. She loves ducks, so I wanted to get her this. She's always saying quack quack. And then I also got her this Learning Resources baking set with cookies and cupcakes. And it has some little, a little rolling pin and some bowls, a measuring cup. So I thought that was really cute and a little spatula. So I got her this. My mother-in-law is getting her a kitchen for Christmas. It's the Step 2 kitchen, and I'm going to put a picture of it up on the screen. But she's getting that for my mother-in-law, and she's also getting some Learning Resources toy food to go with it. I love Learning Resources toy food the best because it has 
a different texture. It's more soft and it's very durable. If they chew on it, it does not get damaged at all and it's very soft for their teeth. Um, my daughter loves to chew on her toy food because she's teething right now, so I love the Learning Resources food if you're looking for a good toy food. Next, these two ideas are really fun. My mom actually got these for, this one is for my niece who is um, eight months old. This is for 10 months plus. It's the Dimple Toy, and these are both from Fat Brain Toy Company, so that's why I wanted to show them together, but it's a little Dimple Toy where you can push them in and out, and it has three different colors and sizes, so I thought this was really cute. And then this one is the Suction Cups, and it's for 12 months plus, and it has these little suction cups that they can play with in the bath, or they can play with on their high chair, and it says Travel too. So it's these little cups, they have suction cups at the bottom, and they're very soft, I think they're like a silicone material. And then the back shows some examples of what you can do with them in the bathtub or that you can stack them. So they look really fun and I don't think they were too expensive, maybe around like $10. I can't remember, but they were off of Amazon so I will link those in the description box below. Next, this is something that I got from TJ Maxx so it won't be able to be linked unless I can find it on a different website. It was $10 and they are these stacking nesting locks. I'll show them up close. They have animals and they have numbers and letters on them on different sides so you can stack them up. My niece has these and she always has loved playing with them, especially when she was younger. And they're for six months plus. There are ten of them. So I wanted to get these for Bryn. I think she'll have a lot of fun with them and I'll be able to teach her different letters and numbers. My mom also got her this leapfrog toy. It's a spin and sing alphabet zoo. So just to get a little bit better of a view. It stands up on the ground and then it plays music. Let me see if I can turn it on. Press the button to spin. You can spin it. A, B, C, D. And you can press A, B, C, animal or music. And, the letter. and if I press A, B, C, now it'll say the letter. T. When it lands on it, it says the letter. T. She loves little interactive toys like this, so I thought she would really enjoy this. My mom found it, and then I thought it was a really good idea. My mom also got her this giraffe. It's a spin and giggle giraffe, and it has little balls that you can put into it. Let's see if there's a better picture. So on the back it shows you can put the balls into its mouth, and then they come out. So it plays music, and it spins around. I watched a video on it. I think this was from Target. Um, they might have had it on Amazon. I'll try to link whatever one is cheaper. But I thought this was a really cute idea. I think it was about $25, but that was on Black Friday. So hopefully it still has a good deal if anyone's interested in that. The baby doll craze over here is real, like I was saying. My mom got her this little baby Stella doll. It is adorable. They have these at TJ Maxx every once in a while. They'll pop up. They're only $18 at TJ Maxx, but online I believe they're over $25 or around $25. I think I saw one on Target or Amazon, I can't remember. But if you can find one at TJ's, that's the best place to get one. They have five different ones. These are the ones that they have. One little boy, which I saw that one the other day and it was really cute. And they all have magnetic pacifiers, which is the really cool thing about them. So you can take the passy off and then it magnets to them. I think Bryn's really going to like this. It's for 12 months and plus, but I think... Even a younger baby would like them if they're interested in little stuffed animals. It's really soft, or little dolls, but it's really soft, kind of like a stuffed animal. And then it has like a little diaper on that you can take off, and it has a little dress. So cute. And then the next babies that I got, Drew actually suckered me into these. I'm usually the one that pushes for the baby dolls, but Drew saw these, and he could not um, pass them off at TJ's. He said we had to get them. So we got her these little twin babies. They're really cute and he suckered me into them so they are the hello baby darling brand and they were fifteen dollars for two babies so it wasn't that bad but she probably didn't need them oops another idea is puzzles puzzles are so fun Bryn has like four puzzles and she loves playing with them they keep her very occupied as long as i'm sitting by her um playing with the little animals or shapes, whatever they are, and teaching her. It's a very good tool for me to teach her things because she's very interested in the pieces. So I got her this Chunky Puzzle Vehicles. The Melissa and Doug Chunky Puzzles are my favorite. So I got her this one. She already has um, most of the Chunky Puzzles, but I got her this one. And then my mom got her this little baby shark puzzle, 
what she's going to love. It's the Pink Fong brand. Um, I don't know if I've heard of that before, but it was from TJ Maxx and it was $12. And then it sings Baby Shark when you remove the pieces. It's really cute. My mom also got her the Shape Sorter, and I keep saying my mom got her this. My mom got her that, and she kind of got her a lot of stuff. Um, but it has nine shapes, and it's B Toys brand. Um, you can get this from Target, and if you can get it from Amazon, I'll link it there too. But I know you can get it from Target. It's really cute. She doesn't have a shape sorter yet, except for her Leapfrog Picnic Basket. She does have that one, but this one's just like a simple shape sorter, so I really like that because I can focus more on the shapes than like the songs and everything that go with it. So I'm excited to play with that with her. One other little thing I got her were these Munchkins Float and Play Bubbles. And they're little bubbles. I think I might have showed these in the last video. But they're little bubbles and they have little animals in them. Um, and they float in the bathtub. So I got those for her. Those could go in her stocking, but I got her a ton of stuff for her stocking, which will be coming up in a future video. And I can't wait to film that video. All the stuff that I got her for her stocking, I'm just so excited for Next, there's two things left for Bryn, and then there are a few things for my nieces. So next I got Bryn this stroller. Well, my mom got this for her, and we went through the stuff my mom got her, and she got her a lot of stuff, so we're going to save this for later. My mom said she might give it to her for her second birthday, or maybe she'll wait and just give it to her randomly in a few months. So this was $15 from TJ Maxx. It's really cute. It's the Jillian's Closet Stroller and it's adorable. I think she'll really like this. And I like how it has only one wheel in the front because I think that will be easier for her to push. This is something that I got Bryn, well Drew and I got Bryn for Christmas. It is a basketball hoop. So we got her this basketball hoop and Drew's really excited about it. We couldn't not get her this because this is like the one thing that Drew wanted to get her. That was his idea because he loves playing basketball and playing catch with her. I'm really excited to see her play with that because she has been really into playing catch lately and throwing the ball to you, and I can't wait to see her play with that. Also, I have no idea where we're going to keep all these toys because we went way overboard. This is something that I got for my niece for her first birthday, which isn't for a few months, but I wanted to show it for a toy idea. It's the LeapFrog Number Loving Oven. If you need a toy idea, this is a really good one. Bryn has one. I got it for $20, but this one was at TJ Maxx for $15. So it was a steal and I had to get it. There's also a pink and purple one, which is the one that Bryn has. It's really cute. Let me see if I can turn it on here. Let's cook something cake. Let's wash our hands, gather the ingredients. So it plays songs and also it focuses on numbers. That's why it's called the number loving oven. The little things that you put together have numbers on them. There's a little pizza, and there's a little piece of bread, and then there's um, little cupcakes, and an egg, I believe, and it has a little skillet. It's really cute, and Bryn loves playing with this, so I thought Abby would love it too. So then for Christmas, I got my niece, Abby. She's only um, eight months old, but I got her this little VTech Sing and Soar Butterfly. It's really cute. Oh, it doesn't have batteries in it, so... I can't test it out, but it's 3 to 24 months, and I think that she's going to like this. But yes, I got this at TJ Maxx for $9, and then I got her a little outfit to go with it, but I don't have that here to show. For my niece, Ella, she is two and a half, so I got her a little bit more just because she's more into toys at this age. I got her these monster trucks because my sister said that she's been asking for monster trucks when she looked in a little toy catalog for Christmas presents. So I got her this because, of course, she needs those monster trucks that she asked for. And I think those were around $7, I want to say. I also got her this little, let me see what the brand is on it. I don't see a brand name on it, but I'll try to link it. I will link it in the description below because it was from Amazon. But Lauren picked this out and sent it to me. It's a little dog in here, and then it has a little doctor's kit to go with it. So it's like a little vet kit, and then I think it has a little dog bowl for the dog food. So this is really cute. I think she's really going to like this. Just a couple more things that my daughter got for Christmas. They are either from my mother-in-law or they're from my sister. And one thing that my mother-in-law's sister got for her, so her great aunt, the thing that my husband's aunt got for her was a little shopping cart. It's either from Target or Kohl's. I'm going to pop a picture of one up on the screen. Um, maybe it's not the exact one that she's getting, but I think she got this one. 
It's really cute and I think she's going to like that to go along with her step to toy kitchen But I think I already talked about that earlier in the video I think that will be cute to go along with her kitchen And I think she'll just like to throw random things in it like her stuffed animals and dolls and push them around And then my mother-in-law got her this little elephant chair. That's really cute It's gray and it's from Amazon and I will pop a picture of that up on the screen if the link is still there but I think that might have been around $20 to $25, and I'll link it in the description below as well. And then finally, the last thing that she got is the Little People's Dollhouse from Amazon, and my sister got that for her. I can't wait to have that because that's going to be so cute. She can play with her little people in it, and it makes noises and sings, and I think it's going to be so fun. I can't wait to see her open all these presents on Christmas. I hope her attention span is long enough to last throughout all of these presents because it's a lot. I don't know if she's really going to be paying attention that long, but I know she will enjoy these toys and she can grow into them and she'll use them for a long time. She's definitely set and we went way overboard. So I'm excited to see what she thinks on Christmas. I can't wait to vlog Christmas and share with you guys. Also, I have some videos that will be coming out, including a men's gift guide of what I got my husband and other guys in my life, like my dad and my brother and my brother-in-law. So that's going to be a very fun video. And then also I will have um, a men's stocking stuffing video and my daughter's stocking stuffing video coming out. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.